Profit just won a lawsuit against border officials over a policy for asylum seekers. CBS 8's Chris Crow is live in San Ysidro to explain what this means. Hey, Chris. Hey, good morning, Eric and Carrie. So let's break down what the policy was that was previously in place. It was called metering. It was actually installed back in 2016 because of the surge of Haitian migrants that were claiming asylum here at the border uh, in San Diego at the port of entry. And then that extended to all ports of entry across the southern border during the Trump administration. Well, it was the nonprofit Al Otro Lado that next year they had filed that lawsuit claiming that this was a violation of uh, asylum law, immigration law, and so forth. Now, the policy allowed for CBB agents to put a daily cap on the number of migrants that they would inspect, refer, and eventually hear uh, their asylum claims to kind of get them forward going through the process. And what would happen, according to this lawsuit, is that those people who were turned away would oftentimes find themselves in precarious or even dangerous situations on the other side of the border and then resort to either paying coyotes or potentially bribing to try to get their way to the front of the line and finding out that that's not something they could do or even worse trying to cross the border trying to jump over the wall. Now this policy was ended back in 2021 or I should say that it was paused. It was then of course now struck down by the ninth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals in a two to one decision that came out just yesterday. The Court of Appeals said that federal law requires border agents to inspect all asylum seekers who arrive at designated border crossings, even if they have not yet crossed into the United States. And so that this metering policy violated that obligation. Now, uh, we also heard a statement from uh, that nonprofit who wrote on Instagram, uh, in part, quote, that it took seven years and untold sums of taxpayer dollars for the U.S. government to learn a legal lesson that should have been apparent from the beginning beginning that respect for the rule of law international human rights norms still matters that you cannot have a legal process to decide asylum claims while also creating policies to deny access to that process now of course the potential here for continuing the legal challenge against now this U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals decision is still a possibility for the federal government we'll have to see how it all shakes out but for now we're going to send things back to you Eric Anetta.